Good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of Hayden Big Grilling. Now, tonight we're making another casserole, but I'm pretty excited about this one. This is the John Wayne casseroles. That's right, folks. The Duke. So let's get started. All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to cut up one small onion and one bell pepper. Once we got them diced up, we're just going to put them directly into the skillet with about a pound and a half of ground beef. All right, folks. So we already got our onions in there. Now we're going to scrape in our bell pepper, but we're not quite ready to start browning the meat just yet. Actually, you know what? Yes, we're going to go ahead. I'm sorry that seems kind of indecisive there, but we're going to go ahead. We've got our bell pepper, our onion, and our ground beef in the skillet. I'm going to put it on a little bit higher than a medium heat on my stove at number six, and we're going to brown this ground beef. Now, while I'm waiting on my skillet to start heating up, I'm going to go ahead and spray some Pam cooking spray on a 9 by 13 baking dish. Then I'm going to take one can of crescent rolls, and I'm going to roll that out into the bottom of this baking dish. Now, while this is browning up, I'm gonna come in with some garlic powder. Just kind of sprinkle that in. Now, this is to taste, no measurement on this. Follow that up with some onion powder, again, to taste. Mix that in, work it in together. Then we're gonna come back with some pepper. You guessed it, to taste. Lastly, some salt, to taste. Then mix that all in together. Alrighty, folks, we just drained our grease. Now I'm gonna add one third cup of water, three tablespoons of taco seasoning. Now I just put it in a bowl to make it a little easier. The juice, now just the juice at this point from one can of Rotel, followed by just the juice from one can of chilies, green chilies. Now we're gonna stir those ingredients in and mix them in just like you would like taco night with taco seasoning. And we're gonna let this come to a little boil and then we're gonna kick it down to a simmer for 10 minutes. Now while that's simmering in a separate bowl, we're gonna add, it called for eight ounces of cream cheese. Now I got about six ounces left from when we used it the other day on those pork loins. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl and I'm gonna heat it up just until it's workable. All right, folks, we got our cream cheese nice and workable. So now we're gonna add in two tablespoons of ranch powder seasoning now for the first time here on hayden big grown we're going to grade our own cheese we need one cup of pepper jack cheese grated once you got your cheese grated just dump that into your mixture next we're going to add in half a cup of sour cream so that's going to be half of this little eight ounce tub here we're going to sprinkle in a little salt and pepper again to taste. Now lastly, remember those green chilies that we robbed the juice out of earlier? So now we're just gonna dump them into the bowl. Once you finally got all those ingredients in there, we're just gonna mix this all in together. Just work it all around. Get everything nice and mixed in. So now we're gonna come back with that ground beef. And we're just gonna pour this, the entire thing in, over our crescent roll there. That's gonna be the base. You ain't think we forgot about the rotel now, did you? So now we're gonna come back with the roll tail and just kind of sprinkle it out. Now, that cream cheese mixture we made, we're gonna come back with it and just start dumping it in on top here. Now I've got my cheese mixture spread out on there, right? Now as it cooks, it'll melt. But now we're gonna come back, I'm using Colby Jack for this, but we're gonna come back with Colby Jack and we're just gonna cover the entire thing with Kobe Jack. If you wanted to use cheddar in this deal case, by all means. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna come back with some of these jarred jalapenos slices and just kinda put them sporadically throughout the dish or the top here. Now, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And then we'll pull it out, put it back in at 375 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, folks, it is looking and smelling delicious already, but we just pulled it out. We're gonna bump our oven up to 375, put it back in for 10 more minutes. All right, folks, I just pulled them out. I did the 350 for 40 minutes and then 375, I pulled them out at eight minutes because they were already pretty well looking done, but I was following the recipe. So I'm using some of my intuition, I guess you could call it, but we're gonna give them just a few moments to kind of cool off a little bit. So that way we'll be able to cut through. So we just dug into it a little bit. 
It's looking and smelling amazing, folks. Here we go with the taste test. All right, here we go with that taste test. All I can really say after that bite is, wow. So many flavors. The cream cheese, sour cream. You can definitely taste the jalapeno and you can definitely taste the chili and the rotel. Uh, the ground beef tastes great. Um, the only thing, the only critique I have on it is that when I put it back in for that extra 10 minutes or eight minutes, I'm sorry, my, that crescent roll bottom maybe got just a smidge overcooked but <laughs> i'll take it because this is amazing um so y'all please try this let me know what you think and as always y'all like subscribe and we will see y'all later